Hello and welcome to this week's episode of Blender for Beginners. In this week's episode we're going to be looking at UV mapping and how we can use that to create uh, textures uh, and apply textures to our, our models in more interesting and dynamic ways. So on the screen in front of me you'll see we've got a crate. I'm just going to pan around this if my computer can handle that. And we can see on every side of the crate we've got the exact same texture applied to every single face. Now that's fine and it looks good however what you'll find with more complex models is that you won't just simply want to map the same texture onto every face of your object. You'll actually want different faces to have different textures and images applied to them um, to simulate different materials and, and different things like that. Um, so I'm just going to come out of there. Uh, I'm going to delete my texture and there we go and delete my material. So now we've just got a standard cube. The way UV mapping works is what we do is we take an object, um, we mark out the individual seams, so all the edges on the object, and we flatten the object essentially so that all the faces are flat out. And then what we do is we apply the, the texture to, to those those that flattened out image of the model. So let me show you how that works. So the first thing we need to do is with our object, go into edit mode and select the the edge select tool, so down here the middle one, I'm going to click that and what we're going to do is holding down the shift key I'm going to right click on these top four edges there that mark out the top four edges of my cube and then I'm going to go into my shading and UV submenu and I'm going to click mark seam and there we go, that's marked that seam I'm then going to select I'm going to right click the first top edge there on its own, then I'm going to hold down shift I'm going to select the next three edges to select the four. I'm going to mark that seam. Move around. I'm going to right click that edge there. Then I'm going to hold down shift again. Set those edges and mark that seam. Right click there. And I'm going to repeat this process until I've marked out all the seams on each side, one set at a time. So right click, then hold down shift, and then mark seam. OK. I've now marked the seams and we can see whenever I've marked a seam it's turned that edge red. Okay, and We've got the selected edges at the minute are orange but the seams are red. Now what I'm doing there is every time I mark a set of seams like that I'm telling it that when we flatten out our object uh, in the UV map I want that to be a separate part. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to hit the A key twice to select all my edges. I'm going to go down to the bottom hand corner of my screen here where there's three little lines and when my cursor goes to crosshairs I'm going to left click and drag that out so we've got two screens and in the left hand one I'm going to select the little cube icon down here and select the UV image editor now at the moment there's nothing there I'm going to move back over to my my screen over here and with my mouse hovering over the object with, with it all selected I'm going to hit the U key on my keyboard and I'm going to go and wrap and as we can see now on the left hand side of my screen in the UV image editor I've now got the uh, every side of the cube is now flattened out now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to apply the texture to it to do this I'm going to open up a texture so I'm going to click down here at the bottom row the open our image icon and navigate to where I've saved my UV texture which is on my desktop in the textures folder and here we've got my crate UV map now if we open that up, there we go. We can now see behind the uh, the UV mapped faces, we've got an image. That's just one image on its own. In fact, I can show you that quickly. I'm just going to quickly navigate to show you that. I created this earlier in Photoshop. Um, and all I did was I took three different textures. I put them all into one image and resized them and we're going to use that as our UV map. There we go. So that's just one image there. Although there's three different crates on there, it's just one image. What we can do now is hover your mouse over this center cube, or uh, center cube, center square here. Press the L button on your keyboard to select um, the connected faces beneath it. Press G for grab, and we'll now move that around. I'm going to set that over the first cube there. I'm going to press S, S for scale, to resize that cube and we can see it's resized it so that it goes perfectly over 
the crate there and we're going to do that with all the others. So one at a time, I'm going to press L to select a set of connected uh, edges, i.e. a face, actually for grab, move that over there, left click to say it's done moving, S to scale, left click when I've scaled it up, move the mouse over again, L to select, G to grab, left click to say I've finished moving, S to scale, and L, G, S on the keyboard again, G to grab, resize that a little bit, and we're just repeating this process over and over. Now what I've done is I've put four of the faces over one texture, so four different sides of our cube, we'll be able to see in a minute, if all's gone to plan, we should have the same uh, crate texture to them, but two of them will have different crates. There we go. So, so two sides of my cube should look like they've got different kind of crate edges. And I'll just fine tune that. There we go. Fantastic. Okay. So now I've marked all my seams. I've unwrapped it. I've set an image as the background of my UV map. I've edited uh, the UV faces by, by moving each face and resizing it over the correct part of my UV image. I'm now going to go over and with the cube still selected I'm going to go into the materials which is the, the red ball there. I'm going to click new to make a new material. And then I'm going to go into the texture option next to it, the texture tab, which is the red and white checkerboard. I'll scroll up to the top and click new to make a new texture. Make sure image or move is selected. I'm then going to open up the texture that we've applied is the UV map. So navigate to where that is. There we go. Create UV map. And set that as texture. Now when we first open up a new texture, normally the mapping coordinates will be generated and it will project flat. What we want to do is click generated, select UV, and then where it says map, if we click that, the option to have a UV map, which is this map over here, should be there from a drop down. And that's all we need to do. Now I'm just going to drag this over so we can see the cube. Now, when I switch to rendered preview, we should be able to see that the crate, four sides of the crate, have this texture on over here. One side of the crate hopefully will have that texture, and one side will have the third crate texture applied to it. So I'm going to change my viewport shade into rendered, and we should be able to see if we pan around, those three all look the same. And there we go. We can see. There we go. There's one. And completely different texture there, as we can see. Obviously, they are crates, so they are similar. They've all got the diagonal thing, but we can clearly see that those two are different textures there. Excellent. Perfect. There we go. And there we go again. A different texture on that side. That's that texture there. That one there is that. And around that side there, we have the third one. Oh, too dark to see underneath there. Fantastic. So that's how we UV map. So we mark out the seams, we resize, uh, we unwrap it, we open up the UV image editor. Uh, when we've unwrapped it, we should see all the quadrants there, all the faces. We add an image to our UV map, and then we go into the material and texture settings and change the coordinates to UV the map to UV map and make sure that the, the UV map we've used the image file is selected under the image and that's how we UV map an object obviously that was a very simple example of creating a great cube um, but I look forward to seeing what you guys can do yourselves um, so open up blender start a new file and get UV mapping thank you very much and we'll see you next week